So I have the honor at this EHA meeting of presenting on behalf of my colleagues work that we've done with the phase two study exploring sertilatinib, which is an oral ATP in, uh, competitive inhibitor of a number of kinases, specifically JAK1 and JAK3, as well as SIC. And the study is exploring its safety and effectiveness in B cell malignancies, as well as in a cohort of T cell lymphomas. Uh, this is a study that was predicated on the phase one experience, which confirmed both tumor activity and the ability of sertilatinib to significantly inhibit the targets so we can, at clinically relevant doses, impact on both SIC and the JAK-STAT pathway, inhibiting uh, the, those pathways effectively with BID dosing, so twice daily oral inhibition um, of those pathways is achieved. The phase two experience that we'll report at this meeting has demonstrated significant uh, activity. So overall in cohorts that include CLL and SLL, follicular and indolent lymphoma, aggressive lymphoma and T cell lymphoma, there's been a 50% overall response rate. They've predominantly been partial remissions with a single CR, um, but responses are quick after two cycles and have been durable with about half of patients remaining on study drug and four patients approaching a year uh, on continued therapy. And what's notable, I think, is the activity that we've seen in CLL, SLL with the 67% um, partial remission rate. Um, some of those with lymphocytosis, as we see with B-cell receptor um, inhibitors, and in follicular lymphoma, where five out of nine patients have responded and have had durable uh, activity. And we've seen responses in patients who have had previous exposure to agents um, in similar classes like B-cell receptors and PI3 kinase inhibitors. Uh, so that's exciting too as our patients increasingly have the need for agents that will work even when they're refractory to other uh, small molecule inhibitors. Safety's been excitingly, um, I think, uh, well tolerated. We've seen fatigue, um, diarrhea, and some cytopenias as a uh, side effect profile, uh, but they've generally been manageable with dose reductions uh, and in the instance of diarrhea with anti-motility agents. Uh, so the work is ongoing. Uh, the initial signals are, I think, quite attractive and pave the way for understanding what the effectiveness will be in the total cohort. We expect to hopefully uh, complete accrual towards the end of the year in the different uh, disease-specific subtypes. Uh, and there's certainly rationale for further development in the future with combinations of other agents. Thank <laughs> you.